It's outside your rigid of flatbush. Speak out. The smash <laughs> rampage the returns. <laughs> <laughs> this intro's everything. <laughs> One time, two times, three times. Oh my! A lot of niggas get your hands up. A lot of niggas get your hands up. A lot of niggas get your hands up. Oh, you can't. That shit is crazy. I make that jams like Rick Rubin. Let's go more. Give me more and more. That's a certain type of cat, right? From Flatbush to South Shore, give you more and more. <laughs> I love that fucking record, man. But why am I talking about this, right? Classic. Y'all should know about Wild for the Night. That's an amazing song. But the reason I actually bring it up is because it is one of my favorite songs from back in the day anyways. I always loved that record. Um, and I love how French Montana flipped it, actually. It really surprised me when French did this. Um, and this is a time when, honestly, I wasn't feeling French Montana at all. I still think French Montana is kind of, uh, you know, but off the rip, one of my absolute favorite songs of the last decade, hands fucking down. Like anyone that knows me knows that I play this record all the fucking time, still to this day. You know what I mean? I think French Montana put his fucking foot in this song, right? Like the best shit he ever recorded, in my opinion. Listen, hold me your my line, hold me more quiet, hold me your my line. Me more quiet, I'ma ride with my dog off the rip. Mm. Off the rip. Mm. Off the rip. Jags mm. off the rip. Nigga off the rip. Black dirty money off the rip. The money off the rip. I'm the 50 off the rip. My dog came home, buck 50 off the rip. Damn. Came home, buck 50 off the rip. That's whack. <laughs> Fuck that, I'm not trying to have that happen to me. Anyway, um, French Montana was a guy, like I said, I never was really big on French at all. In fact, I thought he was straight garbage for a long time, man. Um, when he first came on the scene with a bunch of those songs, I mean, Pop That was I. It was cool, but I wasn't, you know, sitting there going like, yo, I gotta listen to more French Montana. Um, I didn't like that song, uh, nigga, I ain't worried about nothing, you know? And it always rubbed me the wrong way that a non-black person was, you know, using the word nigga in this song the entire way. That was weird to me. It still is weird, but um, I never was a big Mo French Montana fan. But this is a perfect example of a guy, you can be whack to me, and you can make one of my favorite songs. If you really just make a great song, right? I don't hold grudges, it ain't personal, like I said, you know? Um, it's just about having the right beat, you know, attacking it the right way and stuff like that. And I think that the way that French came on the record was really dope. It fit. It's a nice homage. And it's it's done in a way that's not corny, you know? Both songs still rock. They're both different enough from each other. The Rampage one is its own thing. The Off the Rip is its own thing. And I love that, you know? The original um, sample, by the way, uh, I'm trying to remember the lady that did it. Um, it's from an old record from the 70s, I think. And it's not, I think it's called like African Fruit or something like that. Beautiful song, actually. Um, kind of, you know, really sad. But, uh, you know, again, this is what makes hip hop so dope is that hip hop takes these like very emotional, beautiful songs and just gives it life, you know? I mean, it already had life, of course. But, you know, it, it just gives it more that extra swagger and. and it, it gives you that like, yo, we still out here, man. We out here in the struggle, but we live in and we doing our best to overcome shit. And you know, I feel that man, 100%. So just wanted to make a short video about this because I think that this is honestly one of my favorite songs of the last 10 years. Hey man, it can happen, okay? When I shit on these rappers and call them trash and all these people get mad, it can happen, okay, with your favorite rapper. Your favorite trash rapper, whether it be, you know, Kendrick Lamar, Griselda, or those guys, hey man, if they're making off the rip, I'm gonna play that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how whack you are. You make a great song, I'm playing it. But if you don't make a great song, I'm gonna call you trash until you do. It is what it is, man. Later.